I'm going to try and get around in a moment to get a view of her face. But look how comfortable that spot is that she appears to have found. Even more so, it is hidden away. So she'd be, unless we knew she was here, she'd be next to invisible. If you're a passing antelope, you might be unaware of the very large cat keeping an eye on you. You can see she's, she hasn't seen anything that's attracted her interest yet, but she's looking really carefully. She's also found herself some shade because, believe it or not, despite all of our complaining about the temperatures this morning, it is now very, very warm. The unpredictable nature of the low felt winter's weather. I'm just going to do some shuffling here. My boxes that I store all my books in has decided to go for a bit of a walk. It's blocking the gear stick completely. Here we go. And let's see if we can't get a view of her face. Oh, no, hold on. She appears to be looking at us. Here we go. Karula on a termite mound. Our leopard's favorite spots out here. Well, for some reason where we are, I'm struggling a little bit to hear your questions. So where you are, if you are asking questions, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just attempting. Let's try that one again, Lou. Let's see if we can't. If my attempted, oh, there we go. <laughs> Made a plan. So to Master Chief, who is a new viewer, welcome on our Sunrise Safari. It is marvelous to have you on board. Now, Master Chief says that I love watching animals, but very nervous about being up close to them. And how do we feel about being so close to these animals? And, and what do we, how do we go about it? Well, the, there is a constant sense of respect, Master Chief. So I've said that Karula grew up with, from a small cub with safari vehicles around her. And she is perfectly relaxed with the presence of vehicles. Even though we know this leopard inside and out, we still have to remember that she's a wild animal and to keep that level of respect that we always grant her and any other of the big animals. So whilst we're never frightened, we are always alert and always careful and never complacent. And what we do that makes, what makes us very important in terms of your approach to animals is we are constantly reading their body language uh, looking for nuances that perhaps not everybody has noticed and that's what allows us to get close to the animals but there will always be a little bit of there's a there's a minor risk it's the smallest smallest risk but they are wild animals and we have to remember that i'm never i never feel afraid sometimes i get uh, when elephants are slightly upset with my presence then i definitely feel the need to remove myself but it's more out of a respect for the animals that we're seeing more than anything else. And the feeling is an, one of absolute respect. But it is wonderful to have you on board. And I hope that you get to see all kinds of our marvelous animals. We've started off the morning on a high note. Lion cubs on a kill. Leopard relaxing on a termite mound waiting for the opportunity to hunt something. We're definitely very fortunate to be in the jobs that we are and to be in the place that we are.